Hi there. <laughs> My name is Shar. This is just me giving a life update what's going on on campus with my education and of course with my youtube channel if you didn't know me now you're going to know me right, let me just sip my smoothie mm -hmm. i'm a public speaker content creator and the convener of nigeria's foremost and thriving fasting community recently i've been having superstar fan moments on campus i didn't know that i was gaining this extent or degree of recognition on campus i literally go somewhere and i have like three people walk up to me and say you're fierce sharon i watch your instagram videos i watch your youtube videos by the way if you have not subscribed to this channel what are you even doing the goal is to get monetized this year i already have 1000 subscribers all i need is 4000 hours of watch time and i need you to watch my youtube video. just yesterday i met somebody who had tears in her eyes when she was talking to me not because she was sad but because she was starstruck that she met me it's such a beautiful amazing and humbling feeling i really can't get over it every single time that i am approached by somebody when i'm walking on the streets when i'm in class when i'm in the buka when i'm in the market i'm just i'm in awe really i'm in awe of what god has done with my life god is really making a name for himself in my life and i met somebody uh during the week met somebody during the week and we got talking they said isn't all of this boring referring to my life i wouldn't say that my life is boring i would say that it's regulated i have a routine and i abide by that routine when i wake up in the morning my first hour of the day goes to talking with jesus after that the following hour i do not use my phone and i'm trying to limit my screen time there are books that i read there are people that i mingle with there are things that i do not do for the sake of my future i i discovered my purpose at an early age of 10. i was opportune to be exposed to biblical teachings at a very young age you know where my mates would go to children church i would stay in the big church and listen to the pastor so i was already informed of tithe sowing seed living a christian life for jesus soul winning serving in church thankfully the church that i went to dominion city all my days if i could go to dominion city asaba again i would i would i would do that in a heartbeat i'm eternally grateful to pastor okudili agu and pastor ken imana those two pastors shaped my life and also mrs chukura all my days mrs chukura did a wonder in my life i remember she made us buy this book um, power your life with positive thinking by norman vincent peel i don't know if i'm saying that right but at an early age of 10 i discovered that i want to be a public speaker i want to work on cnn i want to be a broadcaster i want to inspire and influence young people so i started patterning my life according to my vision that meant that i would not be found in some certain places that meant that i would not say some certain words i would not hang out with some people it's just what i did this is not me criticizing anybody's lifestyle or castigating anybody's choice everybody's headed different destinations your destination determines means your journey how you live your life there are styles that i cannot install on my head yes clothes that i can't wear i'm not the type to attend a party because i don't know who's organizing the party i don't have people who organize parties you know regularly i cannot just say okay i'm packing a bag the next two minutes and i'm leaving to this hotel i'm leaving to this party nothing like that it's somewhat boring but i've learned to find contentment and satisfaction in the little less things little less things bring me joy it could be a movie it could be popcorn it could be a smoothie the truth is your future is worth the sacrifice i do not know what you want to achieve i don't know your ambition i don't know your purpose in life whatever it is determine the kind of life that you live and the kind of life that you create for yourself routines are sustainable for me routines are boring but they work they actually help you get your life on track 
There are some books that I read. There are trainings that I must attend because I consider myself a leader, an influencer. An influencer is a leader. If you're able to get one person to do something, or maybe by just watching a video, somebody's inspired to take an action, which in this case is my story. It shows that you have some hold and some measure or degree of influence over people. It's not something to be taken lightly. I love this conservative, minimalist life of mine. I'm the type to repeat clothes. I am the type to rock my natural hair, devote my time to learning, devote my attention to taking courses, being better, and prioritizing my spiritual life, which is really important because I've only gotten this far because of God, because of the relationship excuse me, because of the relationship that I have with Jesus. I just pray to God that the fame doesn't get into my head every time I pray to God that God, please help me stay humble. I'm really thrilled that I have this level of influence on people, on young ladies and even guys. I have people walk up to me and say, Sharon, I fasted because of you. I did a three days water fast because of you. That's incredible. This is something that is unconventional. I'm, I'm just in you know, awe of what God is doing in my life. I know that I'm answering the questions of some people. I have heard rumors about me. Oh, she's snobby. Proud. I'm a lane minder. I like to be in my lane. I don't engage in unprofitable ventures or unedifying conversations. I like my company. I love my company so much. I'm a homebody. I only go where I'm invited. I only speak when I'm spoken to. I mind my business and I drink water. I want to get monetized and please watch my videos i'm so close to attaining 1000 hours of watch time i'm serious with my channel this year so please help me as i help myself until my next video be the light and spread love adios